good morning, folks. The large plasma filament is finally turning out of view. Wouldn't be shocked if he releases in the coming day or two. We've got a full look at space weather, including if we expect more geomagnetic activity this week. We had some deadly earthquake news as well in an unusual location. But we are going to begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, checking out the last day on our star. The small pops from the bright area coming in towards center longitude it's about the only thing you can see happening. It wasn't major, and there is nothing currently facing Earth that can match the eruptive potential of the big plasma filament that's departing out of view. It's nothing but sunspots and coronal holes facing us, and the sunspots aren't doing much. I'm surprised we could see any pops or movement at all given how weak the flaring has been. And while the biggest active region departs to the right with the filament, we can see the two central groupings are smaller but have magnetic potential to mix with beta polarity. We'll be watching for blue and red to come together. Solar wind here. Still ambient calm and quiet conditions settling in as we're between speedy streams and the Earth's magnetic shield is very calm at the moment. The next coronal holes are facing Earth right now. But with them confined to the polar area, it's difficult to know if they'll affect our planet at all. For certain, the earthquake watch goes up, however, when these openings are reaching to lower latitudes and earth-facing positions, and we've got the quake we were looking for in Peru. You may recall that two and a half days earlier, we had called out that region to watch for their first magnitude 6 uptick of the season, and hopefully that released a good bit of their pressure. There was also a deadly rumble in Africa. Tanzania shook close to the Congo border, and the shallow nature caused the widespread effects of the disaster. It has been upgraded in magnitude this morning to 5.9. Folks, yesterday's Fly on the Wall podcast at suspiciousobservers.org contains one of the more obvious electrical stories from space that we've ever done. We've also updated the spaceweathernews.com slash challenge page and added a link at the bottom to a two-page fact sheet for your friends who just don't believe you, your professor who won't listen, or the submit a news tip button of your local news channel's website. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.